It is with great sadness that I come to you on this day. I awoke from a rather poorly slumber this morning. I've got a cold in it. It sucks. I ascended the porcelain throne, I dropped trowel and began to defecate whilst scrolling Twitter on my phone, like we all do. As I scrolled the Twitter feed, I was affronted by a golden light, a promise of delights no mortal man should see in their time on this earth, boosty packs. Card boosters, boosted packs to use the actual term, with Mariah Carey. And I was like, holy fuck, is she launching her own TCG? Are these just collectible cards? What the fuck is this? But unfortunately for everyone involved, they were already sold out. I could not get my hands on any Mariah Carey boosted packs today. Well, without spending a fuck ton of money anyway. They were gone. Kaput. The FOMO had been achieved. I shall never know the warm embrace of opening a Panda Express gift card in a weird kitsch promo product. My disappointment was immeasurable. My morning dump was ruined. Now, some of you may know I love me a pointless pack of boosters, whether they be Magic the Gathering cards or defunct card games or intellectual properties clambering for some of that collectible trading card guy money that Pokemon and Magic was enjoying in the 90s. I have opened Ricky Martin cards on the channel before. It was an experience, an adrenaline rush as we plundered Ricky Martin's boosters looking for reverse hollow and stamped foil variants of the Holy Grail, the seven-part Livin' La Vida Loca Ultron. If you would like to bear witness to the majestic opening of Ricky Martin trading cards, there'll be a link in the description below and in the cards that you can find in the eye of this video. There's an eye up in one of these. I'm not just making it look like I'm... Anyway, what the fuck is going on with the Queen of Christmas? Well, first of all, Mariah, baby, come on the fuck on. No one is fooled by this cheap Amazon face mask. Your identity is also spoiled by your name on the booster. But why the face mask, you might ask? Is she at a spa, a day spa, where they use black robbers masks? Well, it's because the contents of this booster aren't just glamour shots and promo shots of Mariah Carey and some silly holiday quotes on the back of them. There is a theme of fraud, stolen wallets, and gift cards. It is weird, it is quirky, and dare I say it, it's kind of fun. One Mariah stand looking out for the poor, delicate, and vulnerable Mariah Carey put it this way. I love you, Mariah. Truly. I simply cannot with these ridiculous products and endorsements lately, though. You're really endorsing a product with the tagline of fraud equals fun? Disappointed with the money grab you seem to be going for lately. Anyway, so this is a promo by MSCHF. I don't even know how you meant to pronounce this. Muscuff? I don't fucking know. The company that just did the kitschy, tacky, but ultimately kind of cool secret layer promo with Wizards of the Coast uh, for Magic the Gathering, their premier trading card game. The original trading card game. Uh, the one with the peel off planes and the blood moon that makes my pee pee go hard. Oh, and they've done a promotion with some guy called Lil Nas X or something. I don't know who that is. Maybe you can. Tell me in the comment section below. So the boosts are filled with random shit that might be found in Mariah's wallet, purse, or handbag. Theatre tickets, credit cards, fake ID mock-ups of Mariah's driver's license, complete with jokes about not knowing her age. Honestly, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be talking about Mariah Carey's driver's license or whatever, but here we are. The hand that has been dealt. But this whole thing kind of tickled me. I thought it was funny and kind of fun as a product. I really don't hate it. You can also open literal money in these packs as if you found money whilst rifing through her purse. Like a $5 bill that was folded in the back. But was seen on TikTok. Hopefully I found the footage to put here by an influencer who was almost certainly sent these ahead of time of the sale. Because these things were like fucking rocking horse shit to get hold of. Um, I had this feeling because I was approached by Muscuff or whatever the fuck you pronounce it like to show off the secret lair. But I was traveling, responded late, and never got one, which is sadness, because that blood moon is... In addition to these dollars and shit, you can open gift cards that you might find in a wallet or purse, including Macy's, Build-A-Bear, and Panda Express. And these are real gift cards that you can then redeem for actual money at those stores. This is product endorsement. This is cross-brand synergy gone mad. It is strong, shall we say. So there's this weird element of buying one of these things for whatever the fuck they're on sale for. There's no price on the website anymore, so fuck knows. And then opening up like 30 or $100 gift cards for Macy's or Panda Express. So if you're in the UK, fuck you, I guess, too. But this isn't the primary purpose of this product, I believe. I think it's a cool, kitschy, weird thing. The extra EV thing really does uh, almost like parody trading cards, and I quite like that. It's kind of a fun, almost like artistic statement in a way. But there's something a bit more nefarious to all this shit. Thing is, uh, the mighty Carrie, not Jim of course, tweeted about this on November 30th 
and they're sold out now, just two days later. Uh, this was a super limited DDO. And on top of that, the website directly links you to StockX, where you can hunt down this new, kinda artificially inflated scarcity collectible thing, that is Mariah Carey's boosters, and uh, put them at a premium price, way above whatever they were sold at originally. Again though, I can't tell you exactly how much, because they won't tell me how much they're on sale for. Honestly, I just stopped a second to Google like boosted packs price because I'm bu it's bugging me that I don't know how much they were actually selling them for. Uh, and I just get links to like fucking StockX, the boosted packs website where it's sold out with no actual price on the screen, and someone selling them on the MSCHF app, Reddit, with lots of adverts for crypto. So the problem I have here is that this isn't really organic creation of an item that becomes collectible, right? This isn't a game piece that has some rules attached to it. This isn't a kid's toy for a popular cartoon show that has a nostalgic or sentimental feeling attached to it either. This is just a company making limited time drops, then making sure they're scarce as fuck on the initial drops so you can't get them, then following you into an eBay adjacent website which is designed for collectibles and highly desirable items. And let me make this clear, the actual drop site for MSCHF, where these boosted boosters are, literally says when you're going to buy them now that they're out of stock, but you can get them from StockX.com. So there's obviously a brand deal there. There's obviously a partnership to make some money through these collectibles. StockX, if you didn't know, says our mission is to provide access to the world's most coveted items in the smartest way possible. Buy and sell the hottest sneakers, apparel, electronics, collectibles, trading cards, and accessories. And while saying that, they have sneakers, Louis Vuitton bags, and coveted items like baseball cards in top loaders on screen on the main website. It all feels super, I don't know, contrived and maybe a little bit nasty. Like, I really think the initial kitsch product is cool. I think there is artistic merit to what they're doing where, well, it says on the website, it says this, right? And this might be just marketing blur, but in a sense, a wallet symbolizes identity beyond literal documents of identification. But that's boring. Let's treat the contents of your wallet with the same frivolity of trading cards while swapping the extremely personal with the extremely interchangeable. And I think there is merit to all of this. I think it's a really interesting product. It's, ugh, sounds weird, right? Capitalism bad and all that. But it is. It is kitsch. It is artistic in many ways. But it is sold out immediately and then put on StockX for $100 a booster. Sorry, correction. I just checked. It's £105. Although the last one just sold for 38 Which, uh, during recording, the last one's 100 now it's 38 So maybe they're... Crashing in prices as I record this. Maybe people will know the Pleasant Kenobi commentary is coming. So there is merit to the initial product, this whole boosted pack thing. Like, boosted means to steal, right? So it's a play on booster or boosties. And uh, to see Mariah with a little grab bag, a little robber's mask, the contents are playful approximations of the shit you'd find in a handbag or purse. It's a cool, if not weird, approach to a Christmas promo item for Mariah Carey. But instead of being a product for fans to pick up and be a little stocking filler for people who like Mariah Carey, it's instead some weird cash-in, some weird collectible thing. It's got very NFT energy in many ways of just being worth money for the fucking sake of being worth money. And this stuff will sell. People will be hunting this shit down. Right? All you need to do is read the comments. Like, here we have, can my wallet get a break, Queen? I don't even know what it is, but if it has Mariah on it and Mariah tweeted about it, so I guess I'm adding it to my Mariah collection. Or how about just Yas, Can't Wait, Queen, Heart, 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 Butterfly, 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 and a picture of Mariah Carey with a dog. That dog is very cute. Or am I the only one that doesn't understand any of this laughing emoji? Look, ultimately no one needs to buy this shit. Ultimately, it doesn't really fucking matter. I just thought the whole thing was kind of strange and kind of funny, and I kind of liked it until I started to look at, like, how would I procure one of these to open on the channel, and I realized that actually they were sold out almost immediately and now only available through StockX.com, which I, there's just something about the name of that website that fills my mouth with a bit of taste. It's a premium collectible now that people might invest in, like, stock, I guess. Ugh, <laughs> so fucking cringe. £100 a booster, although the last one went for 38 so I guess they're going to come down as the demand perhaps isn't there that they thought it would be. But look, this is not a natural development of a collectible from a cool product that a company or a individual put out. I'm not saying that I wouldn't even do... If MSCHF came to me and were like, do I make Pleasant Kenobi trading cards? Like, I'll be all in. That'd be fucking cool. 
I wouldn't really enjoy them putting on the stock for super duper money. Also, they wouldn't fucking sell because I'm a small fish. It's a cool idea initially, but really, this is not the natural evolution of a collectible, like I said. It's Mariah Carey, MSCHF, StockX, and fucking Build-A-Bear Workshop all holding hands, chanting some kind of infernal hymn, and summoning collectability out of their arsehole from like a pentagram carved in the snow. It's, it's fucking strange. I can't wait till someone takes a Mariah Carey themed Macy's gift card, or a Panda Express, a Panda Express is funny, all right? A Panda Express gift card, and they get it graded and top loaded, and they stick it on eBay. And it somehow fetches like 200 pounds. It becomes the most collectible Mariah Carey trading card merchandise or some shit. If you won't do it, I will. Someone send me one of these boosters and I will get one of them graded. I will contact the company, ask them to grade it for me, send it to them, get it graded, and I'll have a graded fucking Macy's gift card or some shit. So what is the too long didn't read if you want me to summarize my thoughts here? Uh, the product's kind of funny and interesting. The FOMO stuff is lame. And uh, it being kind of a StockX style collectible website already for a premium price is dumb. I think it's even dumb dumber when they appear to be in partnership, right? This isn't just sold by one company and then another company's picking up as a collectible. These guys have like interlinked websites that are linked to one another. It's a brand partnership looking to create artificial collectability and make money off of it, off of poor Marius Carey stands on Twitter. It's fucking weird shit. I'm not judging Mariah Carey. So if you're a Mariah Carey stand and you found this, I hope you found this video at least a little bit informative and fun. I'm not shitting on Mariah Carey, right? She's the queen of Christmas and all that shit. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you like collectible and card game fucking videos. Make me magic, by the way. And I'll see you all soon. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>